so I come outside to two flat tires so I'm so glad I decided to try to leave a little bit early this morning good morning guys happy Monday <laughs> so I call myself waking up on time this morning which I haven't done in about a year and a half <laughs> almost two years i've been waking up to the last minute just getting up and going but since school has officially started i need to actually get back on the program of actually getting to work on time so this is my official week of being proactive and doing the things that i need to be doing so i got up early well on time this morning got ready headed out the door like 10 minutes early and I come to my car and I have two low tires. So both of my tires in the back are low. So right now I'm just sitting in the car. I got this tire inflator on one of my tires right now. And it takes about five to 10 minutes to pump up a tire. So I already contacted my manager and let her know that I'll be a few minutes late even though I tried so hard to be there on time, which I don't be late. I just be like right on time, but I was gonna be a little early, probably picked up a little breakfast, probably like a little iced coffee or something because I've been feeling iced coffee lately. But your girl is running late. Well, actually, I still may pick it up since she already know that I'll be a few minutes late. So, therefore, I can go ahead <laughs> and pick up my coffee. Well, not coffee. I'm going to get a tea or a matcha. I don't know which one, but, yeah. When you That, that goes to show you, when you plan to do something, it is not guaranteed it's going to go your way. That's why I don't plan. People be looking at me like, girl, you need to do better. No, because as soon as you plan something, it always, for me, for the most part, it always just, I don't know, it, it don't go the way I want it to go. So, yeah, I'm sitting here letting my tires pump up. And I'm doing it all by myself. I did not call my husband and tell him, hey, babe, wake up. Can you come um, pump my tire? doing it all by myself because your girl was raised by her daddy and her daddy taught her how to do things so yeah that's what I'm doing right now I decided to come to Dunkin Donuts because I was watching Keisha Kaylee's YouTube channel and she came to Dunkin Donuts for avocado toast and I'm like yeah let me try them out because I have a um a gift card that my manager probably gave out to us for Christmas or something because a lot of people drink coffee but I don't drink coffee I tried it but I don't drink it all the time I just have taste for it sometimes but not all the time so I'm gonna see how much money is on this um, gift card and we're going to go from there, but like I said, Keisha Kaylee put me on to Dunkin' Donuts, even though I've come here before, but I must say I'm a Starbucks girl, and I tried Dunkin' Donuts the other day when I got my hair braided. I stopped by Dunkin' Donuts to, give, to get me a little snack since I'll be getting my hair braided for hours, so I didn't want my stomach to be <laughs> rumbling and growling while I was sitting in the chair for so many hours so I just stopped by Dunkin Donuts to pick up a little snack and I tried the avocado toast and it was okay I wish the bread was a little more crispier because it was like a little soggy but the avocado was pretty good it wasn't chunky it was pretty good so uh, that's my alarm telling me to clock in and I'm in a Dunkin Donuts driveway Yes, might have a slice of avocado toast with no bacon. All right, avocado toast, no bacon. What else for you? And a small iced chai tea latte with almond milk. All right, we're making a small chai latte almond milk. 
And that you did say ice, right again? Yes, ice. All right, bam. What else for you? That'll be all. Come on up, please. Thank you. You got it. <laughs> I need to pull up my app because I need to get some points. I need to get some points. I need to get some points. And I need to see how much money is on this gift card because let me pull up some more so this person can take their order. Oh, goodness. Do not give me notifications because I don't want them. I need to scan pay another way so yeah so I got my app ready and pulled up so oh they was paying that way I'm not paying that way I am trying. good morning you good have morning. the with avocado toast yes ma'am yes. Eight fifty is your total. She got the avocado. Yeah, she got the avocado toast. Thank you. It's a little warm. Oh, it's bigger today too. I got so much stuff in my seat, y'all. All right, here we go. Here's your card. Back. Thank you. There you go. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Where do you want? Okay, so we are leaving. You know what? I'm going to go out the other way because I don't have time to be trying to fight to get over six lanes. So... Okay, this little girl just been walking this lot ever since I've been in this long line. Gas two ninety three. Actually, I should just get gas from Kroger's since it's right here. And I don't have to stop again. Okay, guys. So, I just filled up my tank. I was on E. My light was on. And gas was $45. $45.61. And I got like a 16-gallon tank. That's a lot of money. I'm used to, I'm used to filling my tank up with like $25, $30. So, these new gas prices is for the birds. But let me taste this tea. I got a small iced chai latte with almond milk. So. Life <laughs> for the 
month because a lot of things was coming at me at one time. It was like a buildup of responsibilities. And I'm a type of girl, if I have responsibilities, I need them to be organized. And if not, I'm very chilled and I don't like to be bombarded with so many responsibilities. So I know beginning the month of August would be the start of school, the start of cheer, and it was something else. I can't remember. <laughs> It was something else I can't remember, but I decided that I am not going to take up um, a class this term because it's just too much. It is too much. And it requires way more time. And since I have picked up, I have already dedicated myself to, to coach this year. No, I'm not going to drop out of that since, you know, I'll be coaching. Um, I'll be coaching girls from 7 to 8. And today is the first day of practice. So, I know cheering, coaching, cheerleading, and going to school are both time consuming. And I know I couldn't do both. So, I had to pick which one I was gonna do. So, our school's closed because I haven't seen any buses this morning. Oh, <laughs> your girl is late. I ain't gonna see no buses. Oh my goodness. I'm like, is school closed this morning? Because I'm just riding through the school zones. No buses, no um, guards stopping us to direct traffic to let the buses go. I mean, or to let the students um, go. So, yeah, that was that was funny. But anyway, yeah, I'm I'm deciding to go ahead and just coach this 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 season and pick up um, school another term because school is always going to be there. And at this point, I am forcing myself to complete my degree because I'm not, I'm not, uh, what, what's the word? I'm not feeling it anymore. Like, I'm only doing it to complete it at this point. And I'm only two classes away. I have one more, I have an ethics class and then I have my capstone. So, I'm only, um, six credits away from earning my master's and it's taken me forever to take these classes because the way I feel about it I know I need to be focused and have no distractions because yeah yeah so uh, I really really I was aiming to be done with it by the end of the year because I was going to take my ethics class this term and then take capstone next term. And by December, I would have been done with my degree. But your girl is like, uh, I can hold off. I can hold off. I just hope that my, um, I just hope that my ethics class is offered next. Oh, no, because cheerleading. Yeah, chilling season is going to end the rest. It's going to be going on for the rest of the year. So, mm. Mm. I don't know when I'm going to finish this degree. It's going to be 2020, what, 2022. <laughs> and I'm still going to be working on this degree. But it's okay. I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a rush. But I do want to um, go out with a bang. So, I know I'm not do finish this degree. I'm gonna have to reward myself because this thing right here was huh, I'm struggling to get done with this degree, y'all. I'm struggling. I probably done sat out for over a year now. But that's the purpose of um doing your masters. It's not like a um 
you're not forced to continue to take your courses even though it's recommended to just go all the way through but uh, the way your girl attention span is set up I can't stay focused I cannot stay focused but I'm excited for the cheer season we did cheer camp a couple weeks ago for the whole county and a lot of girls signed up for my part because they enjoyed our camp and so right now all of our age groups are full to capacity to where you know parents are sending in um, separate emails just requesting that their child be added to our roster and it's like we are full we are full but you know and there's so many other parks in our area I don't know what their rosters look like but ours is full and it's like where do you stay you know you stay closer to such and such you can go to that park and it's like we really want to come to y'all park because y'all count was the bomb so I was like oh well thank you because you know we try we try so I'm excited for the church season this year and I have to make sure that my patience <laughs> is on point because like I said I'm working with seven and eight year olds it could have been worse I could have been working with five and six them babies boy they're talking about my patience and their attention we both will be ooh, crazy we'll be I'll be screaming they'll be crying and I'm just playing I'm not that type of coach I was raised in a household to where it was extremely it was extremely loud and I hated it to where I do not like to be loud or talk to anyone um, with a loud pitch so I'm very low tone and I talk to everyone with respect and you know I treat everybody the way that I want to be treated so that is not me at all which you know a lot of people be like you need to toughen up and it's not that I need to be toughen up it's like a lot of people respect me because of the way that I treat them and I can't ask for anything better than that but respect I don't need for nobody to be scared of me doing stuff because they scared I want you to do it because you know it's proper and that's the right thing to do so y'all better not get in front of me So yeah, I'm ready for the church season. I'm kind of excited that, you know, I went ahead and decided to not take up school this time because I already felt my energy going down. Like, uh, here this go again to where, because school takes up a lot of my mental space. Like, I still have a um, 9 to 5, well, 8 to 5. I got to be at work at 8 <laughs> and I get off at 5. So I still have a full-time job, which, you know, a lot of people these days, they don't even have full-time jobs anymore. They Everybody want to be entrepreneurs, which, you know, I'm not hating on it. I'm just not the type to be an entrepreneur because, look, if I don't feel like doing it, I ain't going to do it. And I like the stability of a nine-to-five, like... At the end of the week, I'm going to get paid. I'm going to make some money. It's not more so like with content creating. It's more so you have to land a deal, land a brand deal and stuff like that. And it's not like those come every day. And the way that they pay you 30 days out, 60 days out, 120 days out. Ma'am, I did your work. I need to get paid ASAP. So the way the payout schedule is for entrepreneurs I don't like the um, the benefits like you have to invest in yourself like 100% like insurance your retirement plan and all of that like you have to be dedicated to go ahead and um, and get those things in order which you know if, if if that's what you do then that's what you do but for me um 
my mental capacity for all that, the stress level I get to, I would shut down. Shut down. So, to eliminate all that, give me the 9 to 5, give me my paycheck, give me my benefits, give me my retirement plan. So, yeah. I, I, I can dig it. Like, you know. I don't get paid as much as I would want to, but the way that I live my life, I will make enough money to do what I want to do and more, and probably support you and your family too. Yep. So, I'm very content with what I do, how much I get paid, and the lifestyle. I'm satisfied. I can't ask for anything better. And my commute to work, 20 minutes. And I don't have to get on the highway. So that's what's up. But I have officially made it to work. I will not be able to take you guys in because I got to go through security check. And I don't need them to be checking my stuff and checking my electronics. So I'm going to leave y'all in the car. But let me show y'all what this avocado toast looks like because I'm about to smash it. Mm, that thing look good you know what I'm just going to wait until I get I'm waiting until I get at my desk because I don't need for nothing to be in my teeth or take out these retainers so I'll probably see y'all at cheerleading practice today since today is the first day so okay y'all so I am is that coach? I am officially off work and I had to dress out in the car <laughs> so I have on this two-piece outfit you can't really see it but it's an armor fatigue outfit and it wasn't that hard or complicated but y'all I invested in Keisha's Kayor Slim and Cream. And I also got the Waist Eraser. So I bought this um, probably a month ago or two. But this is my first time actually using the products. I also got the Slim and Tea, y'all. That tea works like when I tell you that freaking tea works OMG so yeah I can only do the tea on the weekend cause I'm mm -mm, mm -mm. and then the crazy thing about it is that the first time I tried the tea you know it, it did the job like you know I'm the type of person that it it takes a lot it takes a lot so when I um, drunk the tea and it worked you was like and I felt like oh my god this works so I'll, tr I'll continue to use it but I use it off and on I didn't use it like a 14 day detox or a 7 day detox or anything like that I just pretty much did it I do it on a weekend so it might be like a 2 day detox so I did I tried it a couple times um, here and there but last weekend y'all omg i did it on a sunday and i normally won't do it on a sunday i do it on friday and saturday because i'm at home sunday ain't no telling it's gonna come sunday or it's gonna carry over into monday and your girl gotta go to work on monday so i took it on sunday night and the crazy thing about it is that before i drunk the tea I had an apple and I drank some water. Y'all know apple and water, it's its own detox. But your girl had a taste for an apple because I finally got my braces off so I can actually bite into the apple so I can appreciate like eating the apple again. So I had a taste for an apple and I'm always drinking water because I don't drink anything else but water for the most part. So... 
I had that and then I just felt full like I need to get rid of all this in my body so I was like I'm gonna go warm up me a um, glass of tea drank that before I went to bed y'all at like 4 30 5 o'clock my stomach started cramping these cramps are worse than period cramps like the cramps are crazy like that was the worst experience ever like I finally got the whole experience like the the going to the bathroom I think that's kind of common everybody go to the bathroom to where it's like yeah it worked but y'all be on social media acting like this Keisha um K or detox and tea just got y'all just bent over just everything y'all <laughs> Monday morning at like four or five o'clock in the morning my stomach was cramping so bad it was like an outer body experience it was like I never had I, I don't have any kids so I don't know what contractions feel like but it was like oh my goodness I felt like I can see the cramps moving through my stomach to where oh my god it woke me up I could not go back to sleep I was about to call out of work but by the time seven o'clock rolled around, it kind of like died down. I went to the bathroom a lot in between four and seven o'clock. So I think everything that was like bubbling finally came out. But y'all, that, that, that slimming tea ain't no joke. Ain't no joke. So yeah. So I'm going to use the slimming tea, the, um, body burner and also the waist eraser all at the same time but I can't do that tea during the week y'all so I'm gonna try this um body burner out today since I will be outside coaching in this hot heat and so I don't got no hot towel so we're just gonna be rubbing this cream on my stomach so yeah I'm gonna apply this to my tummy and then um, do the waist trainer but first I think I'm gonna move I'm gonna move my car first because I want to be closer to the building now I ain't put my shoes on yet These braids in my face is getting on my nerves. Like, they getting on my nerves. And I didn't, um, I ain't tell y'all what I thought of my hair. Like, I think it's okay. It's okay. It could be better. Because I'm a perfectionist, y'all. When I pay somebody to do my hair, I want it to be perfect, especially if you charging um, the hot, I was about to curse. If y'all um, charging these high prices like that, I expect for my hair to be perfect. Like, so when I get my hair braided, I like for my parts to be crisp. I try to park my car so I can see it um, at practice or whatnot. So, yeah. So, like I said, when I get my hair done, y'all, which I don't get my hair done often because I'm hardly ever satisfied with the final results. So, I just opt to do my own hair and it be mediocre because I'm doing my own hair and I didn't pay nobody to do it. Then, actually paying somebody to do it and don't like it. So, this hairstyle is okay like I love that it's lightweight and it's not a lot of hair on my head but my parts they're not proportioned <laughs> they're not proportioned y'all like first of all I don't have a middle part let me see if I can let's see I don't have a middle part y'all
Can y'all see? Can y'all see? This AC is blowing in my face. Let me see. Show y'all. This is not a middle part. Like, this is not a middle part. So, that's why. That's why. Hold on, y'all. That's why I just wear it to the side because that that is very aggy to me. I it's mm -mm, I don't like it. It's not a middle part, and I don't like the product she used on my parts because it actually leaves a lot of residue. So I didn't lay my edges because I didn't want to mix the products. So I'm just letting this stuff wear off on my edges and yeah i'm gonna have to show y'all my parts because let me see i'm gonna turn around and hopefully if it if i get a good shot of it i keep it in the video but if not i edit it out but look at my parts I hope y'all can see that but they are not they are not put together and I, I don't like that I don't like that right there but this gonna get me through the rest of the season and this is gonna be my anniversary trip here our anniversary is at the end of this month we are celebrating 13 freaking years of being together Whew. i am so thankful for my husband because i could not have looked up with anybody else he is the perfect guy for me and <laughs> For y'all who still looking, good luck, sis. <laughs> good luck, sis. I always be like wishing that it was more people out there, you know, like my husband. But, you know, my husband always tell me like, you know, you attract who you are. And so I'm always wishing for people in my circle to, you know, find them a find them a um good one and stop finding all these deadbeats but hey if you attracting them and you dealing with what they bringing then that's all up on you like i have zero tolerance for the bs i i do not have any tolerance for it so therefore that's why i'm in a um happy relationship now so i'm so excited for that but let me put this lemon let me put this butter on in my you know what I really don't feel like it but I'm about to put it on I don't feel like getting out the car though so oh we got a little spatula a little spoon It smell good. It's been in the car, so oh, it's not. It's not wet though. It's pretty good. Maybe it's about this much. And I'm rubbing on my tummy. Let me let this seat back though. Your it got a look good. I'm trying to get rid of it. I don't got no kids. I don't got no excuse for this flap. Girl be eating good though. Girl be eating good. But I need to put some on my back too. But I'm just going to rub this thing like this. And then, let 
let me close this up because this stuff right here is expensive. I don't leave a none of it to waste. So put that on. Now, did my first time open it? I hope I can uh, fit it because I think I got a small. I probably got this one. But I think I got a small. And these waist trainers be too small. I need to be able to breathe in it. Breathe, breathe in it. It's pink or whatever. So, I'm lift my shirt up so it can touch my skin. But, let me, um, let me go to practice. I ain't trying to be late on the first day. I got to represent, set an example. So, I'll holla at y'all later. Okay, guys, so I'm back from chilling practice and I came home to packages. I do not know what this is. I've been ordering stuff left and right. Hopefully it's not any gifts in here. But if it is, hubby is not in here. So I'm about to order. I'm about to open this stuff. Oh, <laughs> I ordered some um what you call these a shaving a razor refill it um only thing you have to do is use water like the soap and the razor is attached so this is what I've been using for years it's very convenient I forgot I ordered it but that's because I cannot find like a big bundle and Walmart or anything, they always come like three in a pack and they were like $20. So I got a good deal on these on Amazon. some utility knife because I just want to open my packages with the box cutter and I had some type of reward on Amazon that I was just trying to use so that's something that I won't necessarily purchase with my money and because I was just trying to find little things to purchase with my gift card I just went ahead and ordered those since I always wanted one but never ordered it now I got two Oh, and these just um, some rubber pot holders because I got cast iron skillets and they get hot. And these are the rubbers that go over the handle so you won't burn your hand. So this is something that I always wanted but never purchased it. Now I got it. And... Oh, this is my catalog from Trillian.com because I have to order my girls' uniforms. So instead of looking at everything online, I wanted to actually have the book. So I got a Trillian catalog. So now I can actually order the girls' uniforms. So I'm super excited about that. Like I said, chilling practice went very well today. I am tired. Got home around 9.30. So I'm not going to eat anything because it's too late. Well, I may eat an apple and drink some water. <laughs> oh, be careful. <laughs> I ain't going to drink the tea though. But I am going to eat an apple and drink some water. And I'm about to take my shower. 
So I'll catch y'all in the next clip.